to the post of chairman, uh, AKN Sinha Institute of the Medical Education and Research, uh, IMA headquarters from 2015 to 2016, and he also recipient of the prestigious uh, AMA AKN Sinha National Award for distinguished services to the medical profession in 2013. He is an executive member of the and chairman finance committee of the Maharashtra Medical Council. Bazil? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I request Dr. Uttari sir to give his address. Thank you, ma'am. I think you have got this from the net. <laughs> no need to talk about all this. Anyway, uh, President Dr. Jayesh Lele and President Dr. Mohan Joshi, sir, all dignitaries on the dais and off the dais, my friends. First of all, let me congratulate Puna. And I'll tell you why. Because what I am seeing over here, the mixture of the crowd, especially the young crowd who is sitting over here, which is a rare phenomena that we see in IMA conferences. I think Puna deserves a clap for that, that they are encouraging the young crowd to be sitting over here because they are going to be our future as far as... Yeah, I've seen the upper hall also. Yeah, I've seen the upper hall also. Now, I'll, I'll just restrict myself to MMC. And I think Dr. Lele will be talking a little bit detail of IMA also. You know, uh, as you are aware, almost 12 years back, MMC was dissolved. And it was dissolved by the court because of gross corruption in the ballot voting that was happening. You know, some of our senior members went to court against the ballot. And it proved that whatever was happening was wrong. The court accepted it, and that's when MMC was dissolved. Unfortunately, MMC was dissolved on one side, and then they appointed an administrator. And the government went on for almost 12 years with the administrator sitting over there. And in that 12 years, I think IMA started rising up. So people forgot what was medical council, and they equated IMA to the MMC council, means to the extent that Whenever they used to be told that what is your council number whenever you give any prescription or anything, you know, many a time you used to find that the IMA number was being quoted over there. So that was what the condition of our council, which is one of the most important uh, aspects as far as our profession is concerned, was happening. Then in 2009, when the elections came in, for the first time IMA decided, we were never interested in the council because council was working on its own, we were all busy with our uh, practice. In the society, our profession had a certain level over there at that time, where we used to feel almost we were kept on a pedestal, nobody could touch us. We were practicing very peacefully. Slowly, things went on changing. And when things started changing, that was the time when IMA decided that IMA panel should be there, or IMA members should be sitting in the council for the protection of our professional colleagues and that's what happened in 2009 when we got together and for the first time we fought the election and that election luckily for us the, according to the court judgment was by physical ballot and all of you all voted for us you, uh, even we had uh, Dr. Gupte from Pune who was there in the panel at that time and we had resounding uh, votes were put as far as uh, IMA panel was concerned and all IMA members were elected for that. Then, of course, a time came when we were elected, but the government didn't want IMA panel to be sitting in the council. So it took two years for the government, and that also they did it after again IMA went to court and forced the government to, nom to give their nominated members. As per the act, unless all the 18 members are uh, notified by the government, the MMC could not start working. So government did not notify those five members whom they were supposed to notify and it took us two years again to fight in the court to make the government notify and it was only in 2011 that the council came into existence. Once the council came into existence because nine members were there of IMA, out of 18, you have to remember what uh, Dr. Saab has already told us that out of 18 members, nine members are already from the government side because 
the directly or indirectly nominated members of the government <coughs> so if you want the balance to be there we have to see that nine members are elected from our panel and that is why we are insisting that it is not one member or two member not a particular member from a particular area that should be there as far as we are concerned but it should be all nine members only then that balance will not be tilted on the side of the government not only that in these five years that we have that many we have written many articles as far as what what i am a members in mmc have done i'll just give one or two two three examples of what